Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Equal Mining. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get uh, Hive OS onto a little drive. Now I've got the M.2 slots on the motherboards uh, that I have on my other rigs and they're for the um, uh, USBs so I can plug some extra GPUs onto them. Now I'm using the server case over here that has the eight uh, slots on the board already. So I won't need to use this and it came with a drive on it. Now how do you get Hive OS onto this? Well. I'll tell you, I'm going to hop over here and show you a couple connections really quick before we do this. And there's different versions of these. Now, uh, for the connection that I have, it's this one here. Uh, as you can see, it's got a large one here and a smaller one here. But if you look at this one, this is a little bit larger uh, and this is a little bit smaller than this one. So there, there are variations. The first uh, enclosure I bought was one for this. And obviously, I learned quickly that this one wouldn't fit in there because this is a little larger. You can see this one here. Uh, is even a little more different. So make sure whatever enclosure you get works for whatever card you have. This is for the MCADA. Uh, I believe that this one is uh, what it said when I was looking to buy this. Let me show you the box that I got for this one. And uh, we'll just go ahead and jump back out. So that's the one I have right here. And I'll put a link in the description below. It's, excuse me, I just had some pizza. It's for Amazon. I have no affiliation with them. And as we do it today, it'll work or it won't work. And then it'll be up to you if you want to buy it from them or not, um, or somewhere else uh, at a reasonable price. I think I got a pretty good price when I was looking at them all. Anyway, um, so the enclosure, and if I'll just put it back together real quick, you can see it. This is it here, pretty small, pretty simple. You just simply open it up. Now it does have two screw holes here and it does come with two screws. So I guess if you put one of these cards in here and you wanted to keep it in here and use it as a regular hard drive, a portable hard drive, you could, uh, but it didn't come with the screws in it. They're in a little baggie. So anyway, you just slide it open and that's it. Uh, it go ahead and uh, they, they go in just like they do on the motherboard. So um, let's see if I can show you that there. You can see that. And all you do is just uh, seat it the same way you do on the board, a little bit of an angle as it goes. And once it gets to that point, this does come with two clips here and here. And if you just hit it, it snaps right in. And then it just, uh, it stays in there. And then if you want to, you can put it back into the enclosure and you could put those screws on there. Then, like I said, have a portable hard drive or whatever for what we're doing today. We just want to get Hive on this thing and get it over onto that server case. So really, you don't have to put it back in the enclosure at all for that matter. Here it is here. Uh, and then you'll go ahead and plug it into your computer. Like that. And there it is right there. So, uh, we have it. I did go ahead and format it. So if you just go to it, right click and you go to format, uh, you can do quick format. Uh, it only takes a quick second to do it. I already did it. And then I have that set up. Now the next thing we're going to do is, uh, get hive OS and you'll come here. Of course, any of the pages that I use, they have links in the description below. Um, so we just go ahead and click on the install and scroll down to the GPU section. And we're going to click on the zip. It's going to download it. It's 1.1 gigs. I already downloaded it. it took uh, just a you know minute and a half, two minutes, three, no, three minutes. Uh, but it uh, downloaded reasonably fast. So I've already downloaded it. So now that I've got that saved, we're good there. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, go ahead and download. Or if you already have it, uh, get Etcher. Uh, okay, I'll put a link for that as well. There it is right there. So we'll click open. We will select the target. And here it is right here, the D drive. That was the one. So we will select that. And we will flash it. All right. So we are going to let that run. And there it goes. So we're just going to let that run for a little bit. Um, let's see. It says it's going to be about a minute. So uh, as soon as that's done, we'll jump back over. So it finished. And there it is. So we can go ahead and close that. Now, when we go ahead, uh, we can unplug it. And plug it back in. And there it is right there. So we are set. Um, now, we do need to get our rig 
uh, config file in here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that also. So I'm obviously going to have to gray out a bunch of this stuff. And the main thing you're going to look for is when you go to your um, rig and then you go to settings and you can grab it right here. When you click on that, it will download it right here. And then once you've downloaded it, uh, let's see. Bring that back over here and it went to my download folder and I can go ahead and grab that and put that right there. And now it will have the config for this rig because this is the 3060 Ti LHR rig that I have. And as it is in the tent right now, it's not getting enough, uh, it's not cooling enough. So some of these are uh, not getting what I want them to get. As you can see, I got a 52 in there and I've got a 54 and these should be around 59 to 60. So I am losing on those. And I just thought overall, um, you know, it's because of the temperature, as you can see right here. And this one's at 71 the way it is right now. 68, 68, um, a couple 65, 66. So anyway, I really want to bring these temperatures down. So I thought if I put them in that um, uh, that server case with those uh, Delta fans blowing that hopefully it can cool them quicker and uh, exhaust some of that heat and hopefully that will cool them down a little bit better and I could push these up a little bit higher and get uh, what really the full potential out of them. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this now from here. So I'll just disconnect from there. Go ahead and push these two little clips up to let it release. I'll take it out and I'll take this and go put it in the server case. Uh, it's got a little screw to screw it down to keep it secure and I should be good to go. So anyway, y'all, that's it. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, this goes in the case and now that I've got my config file on it also, I am uh, ready to go. Anyway, I hope this video helped. If it did, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's right over there. If you want to watch any of my other videos, I'll have one. It'll be right up there. Of course, I appreciate the thumbs up for all the work I do. It is a pleasure though. I appreciate y'all checking in. I'll see y'all next time.